What's up guys? What's going on here? And I don't have an unboxing to date. <clears throat> uh, but basically what I wanted to do was to show you guys some of my collection. <clears throat> so it's something I plan to do occasionally. So I'll do some of my DVD collections so far. I'll do some of my TV shows. I'll do my still books, and I'll do um, like uh, my book, my graphic novels, and other things like that. So this is the first of a number of videos. <clears throat> so hopefully you should see it called um, my anime collection. So basically, I'll show you a bunch of animes I picked up through the years, and <clears throat> and I'll also um, mention a few things about them as well. So let's get on with it. Uh, we'll start with animes connected to video games. So the, f the first one I'll show you is <coughs> Dante's Inferno. So yeah, I got this a while ago. Um, really good anime. It's got, um, is it like, uh, like six or seven different animators um, doing it. And it's a good story. Um, based on the whole Dante's Inferno story and the video game, it's quite entertaining. I'll recommend you check it out if you get a chance. If you see it going somewhere for a, a cheap price, pick it up and hopefully you will not be disappointed. Followed by <coughs> Dead Space Downfall. Now this was connected to, um, the f I think the first Dead Space video game, or is it the second one? I think it's connected to the second Dead Space video game. Um, kind of scary, not bad. Um, interesting plot, interesting characters, interesting story. Yeah, it's not quite entertaining. Then <clears throat> Dead Space Aftermath. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, no. I don't even know what this is, but sorry. So yeah, this one is. It's not fantastic, but it's quite good. I think this was bridging between Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3. Quite interesting. Quite good. Followed by Halo Legends. Now, this one is done by several animators. Uh, different stories and great plots. Check them out. Uh, check it out if you get the chance based on the Halo video game. Then, <coughs> Resident Evil Degeneration. This is a lot of fun. I know there's another Resident Evil anime out there, but I've not checked it out just yet. I will when I get the chance. Quite good. Oh, and one I can't find right now is the Final Fantasy movie. Um, the one based from, from the video games. I can't find it, but I have it. It's quite entertaining. Uh, but if you if you don't know anything about Final Fantasy, you'll probably get lost in it like I did. Um, so we'll just start with the other anime movies. Cla ones I would like to class as classics. <coughs> um, Perfect Blue. Now this is a brilliant, brilliant movie. Great visuals, great storytelling. Uh, I would highly recommend it for anybody who likes <coughs> thriller genres. So yeah, this is a good one. Pick it up, buy it if you can, watch it please, it's a really good movie. Then, followed by something that took me years to pick up after I saw it as a kid. Fist of the North Star. Um, this is the original movie. Um, based on, yeah, yeah, the original movie. Um, not the TV show. I don't have the TV show. I never watch the TV show. Um, but this is a really, really fun movie. Um, watch it when you get the chance, please. It's a really entertaining movie. But yeah, it's rare to find because it took me about five years to pick to find this and buy it. Then <clears throat> followed by Blood, the Last Vampire. Really good entertaining story. Um, James Cameron had a review on this. He really enjoyed this movie. Um, it's quite short, but it's still entertaining. Watch it. The next one is 
Vampire Hunter D. This is the original movie. I think the original one from the 80s. This is a, an excellent movie. Uh, I can't really say much about it more than check it out. It is a lot of fun. It's got a good story. It's got great characters. And it also plays with the whole um, Dracula story as well. <clears throat> Next up, we have the modern Vampire Hunter D movie. Brilliant, brilliant movie. <laughs> I keep on saying everything is brilliant, but yeah, this is a brilliant movie. Please watch it. If I had to tell you to pick which, uh, to suggest which Vampire Hunter D movie to watch, it would be this one. Watch it. Uh, I think it's Vampire Hunter D, um, yeah, Bloodlust. That's the name. Yeah, so please check it out when you get the chance. <clears throat> then the next one is. Highlander The Search for Vengeance This is a really good movie um, Based on the Highlander stories uh, Check it out when you get the chance, it's a fun movie Then um, <clears throat> Where is it? Armitage uh, so, Yeah, Armitage uh, 3 Or well, yeah, just Armitage, this is the original version um, <clears throat> it's quite entertaining. Um, it's got a good story, good plot, good characters. Um, a fun movie. Check it out. Yeah. <clears throat> but if not, check out this one. This is still the same movie, but with a different voice cast and a different ending. This one has got Keith Sutherland in it. And <clears throat> Elizabeth. Yeah. Anyway, here's the credits here as you can see so yeah great voice acting in it um, great animated movie check it out it's fun then we jump onto the sequel which is <clears throat> yeah I think that's polymatrix yeah I think that's polymatrix this one is dual matrix yeah Armitage dual matrix and this one is voiced by Julius Lewis this one is so much fun so much fun um, great again great characters great storyline great plots and we'll jump onto the fa for me family friendly anime for now before we jump into the deep stuff steam boy um it's an okay movie it's not fantastic um voiced by anna paquin from x-men and true blood an entertaining movie um, followed by one of my favorite movies, Spirited Away. I think Hayao Miyazaki made this, uh, a Studio Ghibli movie, or Ghibli. It's very much like Alice in Wonderland. A great father family movie. Then you have The Cat, Retur uh, the Cat Return. Sorry, The Cat Returns. So yeah. Great, great movie. Uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Sorry, making some room now. Um, next up is Ghost in the Shell. You've already seen me do my steelbook unboxing for this. But yeah, it's a fun movie. Check it out. Um, this is 2.0. I, I still have the steelbook with me. I've not gotten rid of it yet. But yeah, it's a fun movie. Um, check out the original. Check out the original version, not the 2.0. Check out the original version. I also have <coughs> Ghost in the Shell 2. Here, um, a, an interesting follow-up to the movies. But on top of that, I have this uh, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. This is the TV show that came out not too long ago. Um, this is the tin. Front, um, spine, and here's the back. I also had it, have the soundtrack of this series. And also have a t-shirt with um, the Laughing Man symbol on the back. With this symbol on the back and this symbol on the front. I'll break it up and show you some of the insights right now. Here we go guys. Go send the show the standalone complex series one 
uh, volume one, volume two. These are all region ones, by the way. Volume three, volume four, five, six, seven. Oops. Yeah, sorry, seven volumes, if I'm not mistaken. And I also Lucy have the shell standalone complex series two second gig. Okay, collecting volume one, volume two. This is the this is the UK um, DVDs by the way. Three volume three. Oh no. Four. Five. Six and seven. So there you have it. Um, other TV shows include um, Read or Die. This is a really, really fun animated show. I thought it was a movie, but I think it has like six episodes. It's a lot of fun. Check it's, it's light hearted, it has its dark moments. There's a character in it called Miss Deep, so read into that what you will. Then I also have um, Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. Pick that one up as soon as you can if you've never watched it before. It's absolutely outstanding. Followed by Street Fighter Alpha um, Generation. Not that great, but entertaining nonetheless. I also have um, Street Fighter 2 V, the, the complete series. So yeah. Um, this is a great show, a fun show based on the Street Fighter mythology. Uh, hold on, I forgot to also add, I also had the final um, story in the Ghost in the Shell TV show. That's Ghost in the Shell Solid State. It's like an animated movie that concludes um, standalone complex and second gig. Great, um, really good, really good. Um, but you might not understand it if you've not watched the show. So watch it when you've watched the show. The other, the other seasons. And there you go. It's got like twenty, so it's like twenty six episodes, I think. So yeah, it has every single episode in there. Brilliant show. I also have Apple Seed, the original series. I mean, the original movie, but I think it was a TV show, followed by Apple Seed the remake, and Apple Seed X Machina. I've not got Apple Seed Alpha yet, but it looks like a lot of fun. I'll definitely be picking it. Last but not least, I've got Ninja Scroll. Obviously, you've seen my still book of it, so yeah, it's there. And I've also got Ninja Scroll, the TV series. This is a tin case um, with the TV show. Yeah. Um, really great stuff. Oh, yeah. That's what you get. These are the entire TV shows. I'm not too sure how many episodes they are, but this one is a bonus disc all the same. I also forgot to add in Princess Mononoke, which is one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies. Uh, it has the voice of Jay the Pinkett Smith in it, who is currently in that show Gotham, which I managed to catch, and it's quite entertaining. I can't. I ho really hope that the show. Um, gets better and we see the full potential of it and hopefully Fox does not cancel it and um, good movie um, one of my favorite like I said but I've not seen many Studio Ghibli movies followed by the really weak Alec Baldwin voiced um, Final Fantasy movie which has absolutely nothing to do with the with the games um, but it's still decent nice motion capture movie and last but not least, uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children, or Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Um, a lot of fun, uh, but like I said, if you don't know much about Final Fantasy, you might get lost in it. But still, give it a try. It's an entertaining movie nonetheless. So there you have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching um, my videos, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Thank you.